time for my April Fades video, and Megan, I have filmed this video like six times, but I keep talking too long, and then I think about me editing it in the future, and then I try and do future Megan a solid, and I refilm it and try and talk less. Let us begin! April was a fun-filled month. I was more social than I've ever been in my entire life in the month of April. I went to San Diego, I went to Arizona, then I went to Vegas, then I went to Coachella, and then my other friend Marissa came for a weekend, and then while you're currently watching this video, I'm actually in New York. Yeah! It's been a fun-filled evening. And by evening, I mean month. I literally just word bombed and said evening. I'm going to just hop in and tell you guys the things that I love this month. P.S. If you guys want to, like, talk to me and hang out with me, make sure you watch the other video because I'm going to tell you how we can do that. Yeah. I've been super into skincare this month, and the first thing I loved is my simple cleansing water. This is a full one. I didn't realize how much I loved this until I didn't have it for about a week, and I kept being like, I wish I had that. Ugh. So I bought a new one, which basically just proves to me how much I like it, and I use it. And it's really good at taking my eye makeup remover off, which is especially nice because I got lash extensions this month, which, oh, <laughs> I love lash extensions. They're the greatest things ever. But this is oil-free, so it's nice because I can actually use it on my eyes. I love it. I'm addicted to face masks. It's a problem, and I have two ones that are completely polar opposite. This white one is from Boska, Bushka. Don't know why I'm saying in a Russian accent. Probably not Russian. And it's a peel-off mask, and it's a bright white mask. And this is really good at brightening your skin and getting rid of hyperpigmentation and any dark spots. So it's not gonna like change your skin color or anything crazy weird like that. But it is lovely. And this next one is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. This is like straight up like you took Santa's coal and rubbed it all over your face. This was for me like a cheaper alternative to try and glam because oh my gosh how do people buy that that is so incredibly expensive but I love this it really takes out everything from your pores I can like oh my god it like takes the blackheads out of your skin it is the most satisfying yet like utterly disgusting and wonderful experience of this face mask my skin has been awesome this month knock on wood so I haven't had a lot of active breakouts, so I've really just been treating like the dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and acne scarring on my skin, which was also a very big problem. So I picked up the Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. Guys, this works like too well. Like I've only been using it for a month and I'm noticing such a difference in my skin that I like get really close to the mirror and I'm like, what kind of magic is in this? Like it's so good that I'm like, why weren't you $700? And next is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This is an oil that I put on my skin at night time and it really helps replenish your skin and makes it really plump and soft but it's also like extremely moisturizing but I will say the first couple times I use this I put on way too much because I've been used to other serums that weren't like strictly oil based where you can really slather them on and it completely broke me out so there's like a solid three days where I was like I'm never using it again and then I realized it's oil use a small amount so I use a tiny amount which basically means this is gonna last me forever too on to makeup so I accidentally left my Makeup Forever HD powder in San Diego when I was there this summer, this, this month. <laughs> I didn't know what I was saying. And I didn't realize how much I loved it until I didn't have it anymore. And I was like, wait, none of my other translucent pressed powders are either A, actually translucent, but then also like it doesn't let my skin get like cakey, but it also really mattifies my skin. I am all about the bronzer. And this month I was obsessed with Benefit's Hula Bronzer. This went with me everywhere I went so much that I've pretty much used all of it. Don't worry, it wasn't full when I started. I mean, it was when I like started like a while ago, but I use this a ton. Boohoo blush. This blush went with me on all of my trips this month. And this is the Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush and explode, <laughs> exposed. I almost said like explode, explode. That's a weird name for a blush. I love this shade. This is like my favorite kind of blush shade. I'm wearing it right now. It's just like that dusty, pinkyish bronzy color. I think it looks really good on my skin. I think honestly this would look good on anybody, but these blushes in general are like the best blushes ever. And especially because I've been using this while traveling and Coachella and things like that, because it's 12 hours, it literally doesn't budge, which is nice. And I like it, and that's pretty. This month I rediscovered my Hourglass ha Ambient Lighting Powders Trio. Tri trio of powders of things. I love this. I basically use this brush, which to be honest, uh, it's like a fan brush or something. I don't really know what you're supposed to use it for, but I never clean my makeup brushes because I'm like a really great beauty guru. Reasons why I'm not a beauty guru. Uh, so this one I found and it's clean. So I decided to start using it and I like it and it's cool. It's from Sigma, but I just like blend all these together and put it on my face. It's so pretty. Usually I'm scared of highlighters because I have oily skin and they can just look like, oh my God, you're so shiny. That's not pretty. This one, it's like glowy and pretty without being sparkly and it looks good in the daylight and it's not like people who are looking at you and they're like, oh, did you? 
body glitter. This concealer is like the best concealer of all the concealers in the concealing world. I am not kidding. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and it says it's a weightless complete coverage concealer, which you're probably like, uh, weightless yet complete coverage? Ha, huh, I call bullshit. Well, I call bullshit to that because somehow it manages to work and it looks like nothing's there. It's like literally like a magic eraser. I've been using the Sugar Nude Fresh Lip Balm. So this is like a tinted lip balm in this early hitty nude color. So it's literally like lip balm. So you can wear this all day and just keep reapplying and it's only gonna hydrate your lips and it's amazing. And then I use the uh, YSL Volupt Tint Oil number three. This is like a tinted oil for your lips. It is the most hydrating thing in the entire world. It looks like a lip gloss, but it doesn't look like, oh, I'm wearing the sticky sparkly lip gloss. It's just so, mm. I just wanna keep rubbing my lips together. It tastes delicious. I know you're not supposed to taste it, but like, yeah, I taste it. And it, oh, it smells good. <sighs> And it's just, it's so nice. Favorite fragrance of the month. This is the Leo de Se Ese Miyake. I don't know how to pronounce it. It smells like fresh, clean, laundry, floral, lovely. It's like a clean scent without smelling like bathroom. Cause I hate clean scents that smell like bathroom. Cause I'm like, I don't want to smell like the bathroom at the Cheesecake Factory. Fashion favorites. I love my Kendra Scott necklace. I mentioned this in my Nordstrom the haul video. And it's so cute. It's like a little white gemstone. It also doubles as a mustache. This cotton on t-shirt I have lived in. Honestly, praise the Lord that I don't sweat because um, I'm, I glisten, I don't sweat. No, but really like I'm like surprisingly like a not sweaty person, which is lovely. I wear this like every day. <laughs> you think I'm kidding. It is a super long, like very like kind of sheerish, uh, heathered gray v-neck. I want this in every color. And it's just so effortless and easy and cute. I wear it with leggings. I'll wear it with flannels. I'll wear it with shorts. I'll wear it to bed. It is just soft and lovely and I'm obsessed. This next fashion favorite, uh, you guys are obsessed with too because every time I post a picture on Twitter or Instagram or Snapchat or anything like that, you're all like, where are those from? And they are these rainbow, like Polaroids reflective sunglasses, which are from Windsor. So they were like straight up like $5, something ridiculously cheap like that. And I'm obsessed and I've been wearing them like every day. My favorite food of the month is cabbage. This one's organic and from Whole Foods. Really though, I've just like been really into cabbage. So my music favorite of the month actually comes from the fact that I went to Coach and I had so much fun. If you guys haven't seen, I posted a vlog on my second channel of my Coachella experience. I'll have that link down below, but it was the first time I'd ever been and I just had such a good time. It was just so much fun. I got to see a lot of bands that I loved and then I also got to see a lot of really cute outfits and like girl crushes and be like, oh my God, and all these models from Instagram who I know. So that was really fun. And then my two music favorites kind of stemmed from that. The first one was a band that I discovered at Coachella and that's Caribou and I've been listening to them like crazy. And then the the other one is Coasts, and I actually use one of their songs in that vlog. So if you'll check that out, um, I'm gonna have both of their Spotify's linked down below, as well as my own Spotify. So if you're curious what I'm listening to, go check me out on Spotify. And in general, you should go subscribe to my second channel because I post vlogs on there all the time, so you can see my super not exciting life. My favorite book of the month was Yes Please by Amy Poehler, and you guys are probably like Megan, you've already talked about this, and I'm gonna be like, yeah. Uh, I talked about this in a favorites video a couple months back and I was like 75% of the way through and then I stopped listening to it. So I finished it this month. I listened to it on audible.com because I was stuck in traffic and maybe you're not stuck in traffic and you're just lazy and you want somebody to read to you because you don't have a Dorota and you know, like simple wins. If you use the code audible.com slash Megan, you can get a 30 day free trial of any audiobook of your choice. If you've already read or listened to Yes Please by Amy Poehler, I also suggest Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. So incredibly funny. Uh, favorite TV show of the month is still Friends. Honestly, when I say I've watched like probably two seasons of Friends in the last three days, I'm not kidding. Goddamn baby hairs. And finally, my last favorite of the month is an app, and it is the app called OnCam. I am so excited about this because basically, I'm going to be doing a live stream every single week. And I remember back in the day of YouTube when I used to do live streams, they were so much fun, but they just got so hectic and crazy, and I just feel like they were just so disorganized, and now there's an app on my phone, which I can literally live stream from my phone, and you guys can watch me from your phones. So if you wanna like sneaky deaky, like watch me like while you're in class, I'm going to send out tweets and notifications. So make sure you follow me on OnCam because you guys will get notifications when I'm going live and I can give you kind of like a little teaser, like guess what, I'm gonna go live in 20 minutes. So 
you know and you can come watch and I think it'll be really fun so once a week we can do that maybe we'll come up with themes like Q&A ones and I'm just like really excited so make sure you follow me on OnCam and download it so I'm gonna have that link down below okay guys I hope you enjoyed my April favorites video if you want to check out any of my previous favorites video or any of my recent videos just in general I'm going to have them linked down below I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my life follow not literally. That'd be creepy. <laughs> I love you guys, oodles and noodles, and I will see you all next time. Bye! I'm gonna be honest with you all. I just finished filming this video, and I accidentally deleted the middle clip, so we're starting over. <laughs>